In this video, we're going to talk about rich men acting foolish. Men that have worked really hard to build up their money, to build up their businesses, and then they would get into something extremely tawdry. There's this guy. I will link the coffee's little video below where all of these so-called rich and smart guys got caught up in this Ponzi scheme. And I, I sit there because this is one of the reasons that I've literally pulled back from showing receipts. Um, I will never show you how much money I have in the bank. I will, I probably won't even, you know, show my credit limits. Because when people know that you have money, you become a target. People like, one of the things that has happened for me since I've stopped showing receipts, since I've been putting stuff out there, is the drama has come way, way down. And uh, I was approached about this investment scheme. And the guy was someone who had watched my YouTube channel, saw me in public. It was like, hey, we got this investment. And it was in a restaurant. A restaurant. One of the hardest businesses to run if you do not have experience. If you have no experience, these, these are really hard. You know, running a restaurant, managing a restaurant, it's one of the hardest things you can do. And I listened to him and everything. And we only need X amount of dollars. And I'm just sitting there like, I'll, I'll just tell you, we only need $250,000. We only need $250,000. And I, I just listened and I was like, man, I like, seriously, you know, thank you for your conversation, but it's a no, I can't do that. And just walked away. And I have literally been approached, not so much since I stopped showing receipts and since I really stopped talking about money. That has come way, way down. But one of the things that I understand in building a business, giving customers something that they want, doing certain things is much, much better for me financially than investing in some kind of scheme. And, you know, I'm just looking at the people who invested in this scheme and it, it, it's, it's just a classic setup. And I'm just sitting there like, you know, Pace Mobley lost 950,000. There was another guy Emory, he lost a million dollars. These guys were wiring this money into this scheme. And, you know, it, it made me really, really think about you guys. If someone who has worked really hard, built businesses, created a lot of money for themselves, can be fooled by these scammers, oh my God, what about you guys? And I really, really started to look at that because um, I'm pretty much not going to invest in something that I don't understand. And people were investing in this fund and they didn't even understand what it did. It was just like, yeah, you can get all this money. And I'm just sitting there like, <clears throat> so this is just a, a case of wealthy men acting foolish, putting up foolish things, doing things in a foolish manner. And at the end of the day, they're kind of like surprised that they got scammed. And I'm just sitting here like, once again, I've done a lot of research on investing. Can you become rich with investing? Yes, you can. But becoming rich in investing is going to be over decades, Prefer preferably about three. You start investing today, you're 21, and you invest for 30 years, which you would be 51. That's the way for you to stack wealth and accumulate some assets. It's a proven method, but it doesn't happen fast. 
just doesn't happen fast. And I, I, I'm like, I'm just sitting here looking and looking and I'm like, these guys should know better. They should know better. There's no way that I'm going to put money into something that has a 4,000% return. I'm just like, there's something funny about this. There's just something funny about this. And I feel that people get caught up in this stuff because everyone's lazy do nothing side comes out where it's like, I can get a lot of money and I don't have to do anything. That's a win. That's a cool, cool set of beans, right? And uh, I'm just, <clears throat> like I said, I, I'll link the video below. Coffeezilla did a video on it. And I'm just sitting there like, you know, it, it is crazy. What is wrong with working hard? What, what, what is wrong with working hard? I'm just sitting there like, people act like going to work is one of the worst things in the world. And this is how they end up losing millions. And in some cases, billions of dollars to run away from work. You know, it's just, you have, let, let's call this right here. Let's say this right here is an investment. You go ahead and put your money in this, right? You put your money in this and it's this, this investment it's supposed to generate all these fantastic returns to free you from working a traditional whatever you want to work. And it just, you know, it's been proven time and time again, these things just simply do not work. And this is one of the reasons I put up the video talking about people with cash keep coming at me. Glendon, what can I put my cash in to get a nice return? That's the question that they ask. But the real question is, Lyndon, what can I put my cash in and get a really large return very quickly and safely? That's the real question. And like I said in the video, I have nothing for you guys. I have nothing for you guys. So, you know, um, I just saw that and I thought I would comment on it because it is, very easy for someone that I am seeing who has money, who has a business, who works hard, who should know better. It's very easy for people to get caught up. It is real easy for people to get caught up in these investment scams and these high lottery ticket deals. It's just really, really intriguing how often people get caught up in these investment things. So that's just my viewpoint. I'll see you guys in the next one.